Welcome back to Thionite Plays Xenoblade Chronicles 3. On the last episode, we freed a new colony, Colony 30, Valdi's Colony, from the console Q. And now, I think it will be a good and wise idea to talk to people, see what people are thinking. Then, the console sure seemed like marshalling... Sure, sure seemed to like marshalling massive Levnesses and having them fight. If I'm being honest, it's something of a relief he's no longer with us. He was a, a fan of the robots. But definitely want to get those gossips. Jill, our commander's not just a genius mechanic, you know. He's also got the healing touch. You've seen his heavy-duty healing arts, right? And those ones with a bit of a delay? He's even got arts that boost healing power. With the commander on your side, you can't lose. If Valdi gets targeted, though, it'll all be over. You can't let that happen. That's a point, so keep him safe. Good to add more names. Lots of new names for the affinity chart. For this episode, I think the thing that's on the docket for today is a little bit of side questing. It's so refreshing to not have that console running his gob all the time. He may not be here to manage things anymore, but we'll cope just fine with Yuzet around. Hmm, well, with the commander being like he is, Colony 30 is going to follow his whims. Always has, always will do. Yuzet's reputation. Can't underestimate a bit of good intel. Check out what I found. What? Oh. In there? We'll find out. Say, isn't this valuable? We should take good care of that. Mecha friend, he's being fixed. What do you have to say? Mecha friend. Dot dot dot. Great. Everything looks to be in good order. I can rest easy. Repapa. Colony 30 stuffed to gills with Levness loving Nupod. But if war ceased to exist, then lose for, lose need for maintaining of Levness. What will become of Rapapa and friends then? You add more names? Well, you'd probably be able to focus on building other things. Colony 9 can't catch a break either. That's our colony. They're surrounded by Agnes, aren't they? They'll be done before long. What? That's not good. We might have to step in and offer some assistance. So yeah, as I was mentioning, I think it would be a decent idea to not get caught on the back foot when it comes to quests. So I think we're going to focus on charity and hypocrisy for right now. Colony 4 is under threat from a large monster force. We gotta help them and go kill the monsters. That is almost certainly going to be the thing that we happen to focus on. So area map, and let's just pop right over wherever they want us to go. What do you mean we can't skip travel? I... The entire plan for today was to do side quests. Are you... Oh my gosh. Are we still technically in tutorial town? Alright. What's, what's the main objective? No, that's the wrong button. Go to quests, please. What What's the main objective? They have a few things they need to do around Colony 4. Yeah, that's the side quest that I wanted to focus on. Why can't I leave? I don't want to walk 1,500 meters. Oh. Or is there stuff we have to do at 4? What do we have to do around here? What, what do you want from me, Xenoblade? What is what is what is the actual thing? Let's go someplace else. Gather info. Okay, you're not not letting me leave. That's that's fine. Guess we're doing this properly. Fine, we'll do side quests and information gathering in thirty. You I heard you. I heard you. Uh, your gossip. Console bashing. Flame clock smashing. Things really got turned on their head around here. In this kind of environment, I'll have to pick up my game if I want to make sure Colony 30 stays safe. Good to add more names. Good to add more names. Good to add more names. Got it, Noah. I heard they grow on Lapral Knoll, but I haven't been able to find any sparking fortune clovers there myself. Is that because you're no good at looking for things? It's either that or everyone else got to them first, I reckon. Widespread custom. Ooh, that's one that requires a second piece of gossip. Let's raid the sheds. We've got to raid them. I'll follow you. Senna and Noah. Uh, 
Open up the tool shed and give me the loot. Ouroboros here. Give me all your wrenches. Wonder what's inside. We should take good care Probably of wrenches. Not on money and uh, normal money. Because those two things are very and vastly different. More gossip, please. Do we have any substan... No, please. Get off the railing. More gossip. Oh, the canteen. I heard that recently even Ven's been collecting fortune clovers. Something smells tasty. You don't say. It's not every day you hear of a mechanic who's into collecting plants now. More, that's the info. We've got what we needed. Do we? Okay, fine. Right, we'll have time to head back. boring discussions, but... Some, I'm yeah, stop talking about food, Valdi. No, it's time to actually... What food is on offer? Enemy drop boost. Oh, it's only 700, and we're up to 30,000. So, yeah. We'll help Manana get some inspiration. Delicious. Oh, it's a nice sandwich. And like a soup? Oh, I needed that. A fish fillet toasty. Mmm. I could go for a fish fillet. Man, salmon? What's your guys' favorite fish? Cod? You guys into cod? No. Brisky, breezy, toasty. So that's a new recipe then? Yes, it is, Noah. Every time we order food at one of these canteens or a restaurant or wherever you can buy food, Manana will unlock a new recipe. Definitely something to do. Oh my gosh. See, see, this is why I wanted to do side quests in this episode, because we've already got three more side quests that are going to pile up. The side quests will pile up extremely quickly unless you keep on top of it. Widespread custom. Let's lay out the facts. People go crazy for collecting fortune clovers in Colony 32, don't they? You used to collect them as well, didn't you, Uni? Oh, I still do. Yeah, I only got four, though. Are they lucky because they're so hard to find? Bingo. I don't know where it came from, but they say if you find seven, they keep death away. Based on what? Hang on. There's not much point in a mechanic picking seven of them to ward off death. They're non-combatants. Yeah, they're less likely to die in action. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything to it. Why is Ven collecting them then? Ven from 30. Oh, you think there's good fortune glover spots somewhere a mechanic can reach? Yeah, I guess that might be what I think. Lord knows that it's so rare when coherent thoughts enter Lanza's head. There, It's like... In one ear, oh, it's like a light bulb, and then out the other, and then the light bulb extinguishes. Let's go ask around. Uni's gonna add to her collection. Heck yeah, wish upon a clover. And here I thought we could do some of the earlier ones. Yuzei's reputation. Some of these discussions will require specific heroes before you can have them. As, uh, as an example, this one that I'm hovering over requires Valdi, which makes sense because Yuzet is Valdi's uh, second in command, lieutenant. Aren't you Colony 30's commander? I'm pretty sure we're going to find out more about this in this very discussion. Yup. It's just that people in 30 seem to really rely on this Yuzet guy. Oh, and how. Yuzet is my aide. He takes care of a ton of jobs for me. What do you usually do in the colony, Valdi? Uh, build Levnesses? So, basically, you leave all of your commanderly duties to your poor mate. Uh-huh. He really helps me out. Valdi, are you really okay with that? Weren't you going to figure out the best way to protect everyone? If you're going to do that, don't you need to keep more of an eye on all these things? Huh. Yeah. Maybe. I don't want to give you credit for such an idea, Lance, but I mean, the possibility is theoretically non-zero. Right, so what do you want to do? Hmm. Use it, we'll know, I bet. Let's go talk to him. Big friendly friend. Well, that sounds like it's in Colony 30, so sure, we can do that. One more topic to discuss. Colony 9 lately. That's our home colony. Alright, what do we make of this news about Colony 9 possibly being under threat? Even if it's just a nasty rumor, I don't fancy leaving anything to chance. 
Agreed. If they really are up against a large battalion, there could be a lot of casualties. What I want to know is, why now all of a sudden? It's just a theory. Again! No. Uh, but I imagine that they'd consider this a particularly opportune moment. Striking when the enemy defenses are at their weakest is one of the oldest tricks in the book. Where can I buy that book? Has it particularly... Has it been written by a certain Sun Tzu? What are you talking about, Tyon? Who the hell is Sun Tzu? What does the sun have to do with anything? The only thing that fits time-wise is us becoming Ouroboros. So what? You saying it's our fault? Well, again, non-zero chances. In any case, they wouldn't be launching an attack on that scale without some kind of justification. Well, I mean, Tyon, the justification is we're at war... There, Keves. What more? What kind of? What kind of justification do you need? Well, we should go and help them regardless. If we hurry, there might still be a chance. Yeah, and we'd never forgive ourselves if we missed it. All right, let's go and talk to the commander. If we work together, we should be able to keep casualties to a minimum. I just hope they'll believe us. If not, we can always try a different approach. Well, if that's settled, I believe our next stop is Colony Nine. Though it would be far from ideal, we may end up having to stave off the enemy attacks by ourselves. Well, we are Ouroboros, and all six of us have this mega-powerful super form. I'm pretty sure the rank and file of either Keves or Angus is not going to stand anything even remotely resembling a chance against us. But either way, best to be prepared. Oh, sorry for getting you all wrapped up in our affairs. That's what we're for! We're a team now! Don't worry about that. We'll just do what we can. Right. A hero quest. This is not your average side quest. Definitely something to pay attention to. But no, we're not focusing. We're not focusing on that right now. You, you game, you want to strong arm me into playing in Colony 30? That's fine. I'm fine with that. We are doing Colony 30 side quests. I wanted to do Colony 4 side quests, but nope. We're doing Colony 30 side quests. Big friendly friend, we're gonna help out Yuzet. Valdi, is that Levinus? Oh, I guess we're not figuring anything else about that right now. That conversation. Right, I think that's pretty much all the relevant news we can find. It seems the problems are far more prevalent than we'd anticipated. Uh, tell me about it. So what's our next step? I think we can do a lot of good here by helping out, but ultimately our destination is Sword March. That's important, too. You're right. We should consider things from all angles before we act. Yes, I have considered the angles, and the angle is freeing and helping Colony 30. Pluses of freeing colonies. Liberating a colony will enable you to access a wealth of new information. Be sure to check every nook and cranny to gather up all the rumors you can find. Staying informed. As the story moves forward, the information you can obtain will also change. It's always worth revisiting colonies to gain more up-to-date information. Yes, that is an, a, a rather important aspect of this game. Time changes, story advances, and things happen in the world as in reaction to other things happening in the world. So it's always wise to right. keep in mind... We need to get back to the cliffs where we met Valdi. No, we don't. We can make sure we're in perfect shape by replenishing supplies at Colony 30. We've got the time. Is that Levinus? Oh, finishing that thought then. You wanna see? It's still a work in progress, but I can give you a little sneak peek. It has no arms. I thought we destroyed this. Why are you building it again? Either way, use it. Uh, things happen in the world. People react to the things that happen in the world. Go talk to the people in the world to gather information about the things that are happening in the world. Use it. Guess what? Can you not see that I'm working right now? I can see, and thanks for that, by the way. Well, as long as you notice, I suppose. Anyone else having trouble telling which one is the commander? Use that! Let's do something! Oh, you want to do something, do you? You're coming on a bit strong, Valdi. We need to restore calm to the colony first. That takes priority. Our console's dead, our flame clock's destroyed, and everything's in tatters. And you want to do something? Valdi, straighten out your priorities. Is there any unrest since the clock was broken? Would I call it unrest? 
No, Noah, I'd call it unmitigated chaos. Everything is in tatters. The Napon are multiplying at an exorbitant rate. We look away once and ten more pop up. They multiply at the rate of Napapamuli. It's just that now that the fighting has stopped, Levness maintenance isn't so vital. We have like ten Levnesses for every one person. We can't all pilot them. Everyone's whinging about how they've got nothing to do all day. It's driving me up the wall. Who cares about boredom? We're all looking for something to do, me included. Oh, everyone can pitch in on Doric. Hopefully we can put arms on him. Doric? Is that the big Levness? No, it's the tiny Levness hiding behind the foot of the big Nebla. Lev, 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 lev. Yep. I said I'd make it the best one there ever was. That's the one the console ordered built and subsequently was destroyed. Will you help me with it? Meme? Riku suppose some advice not go amiss. Heck yeah. Anything that Riku gets his Napon fingers on will be perfect. I can't stop you working on it, but you can't raid our materials for it. The chaos will multiply, and if we don't have those materials, it will ex exponentially multiply. Right, yeah, don't raid the kitchens. I'll salvage stuff myself. Napons, assemble! Let's build a Levness. What do we gain by finishing it? A super powerful Levness. No, <laughs> not even that. We just get to look at it like everything else that the commander collects. We just put it on a shelf behind a piece of glass and just admire it from afar as it gathers dust. But as long as it keeps the knob on happy, you'll be doing me a favor. He's not very commander-like, but he does care about the colony. I mean, props to Valdi. We can help out with scavenging materials. What do you say, Lands? Why are we asking Lands? It's like five other people to consult. You're gonna help? Mr. One Idea in a Million? Yeah, go on. I'm the one who told you to find something to do. Heck yeah, thanks, Lands. Rep Papa is the one in charge of the Doric project. He'll be able to tell you what's needed. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We get to build the massive robot. Will we though? Thanks, Lance. Thanks all. You're being great friends to Doric. I, is Doric alive? Did you build a sentient Levness? Valdi been great help. Reb Papa thanked you as Befet's chief. Chief? Valdi trained as mechanical alongside Reb Papa. Papa Papa. Under Master Papa. Basically, Reb Papa look after Valdi a lot. Like surrogate father. Right now, is Doric and Mecha friend, and also looked after Yuze when have time. Is so good, Chief. Anyway, friends say friend want to find materials. That very kind. We are the most kind-hearted heroes that have ever existed. What do we do? What, are, what should we do? What do you need? Lots of materials from Etia and Fornis regions. Materials need thorough check, so bring first to Rapapa. Area around 30, full of stinger piles, ripe for taking. Quick pickings. That is correct. This is another one of the dreaded quests okay, that... So oh, we have nothing. <laughs> Do not try and prioritize this quest. From what I understand of my own personal playthrough, I don't think it's much of a spoiler to say that there is like more than five stages where you have to give materials like this. If you've played uh, Xenoblade 2 and you remember feeding the Arden outside of the, the, the city outside of Torgoth to level it up. It's basically the exact same thing here where all the collectibles that you need come from more and more remote locations as the story progresses, you'll visit them. So don't worry about this particular quest super, like don't prioritize it. You won't need to. It's not going to happen even if you wanted to. It's not enough yet. We need more things. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll come to that. Over the course of this entire thing. Uh, what other quests exist? Uh, Wish Upon a Clover. And then where the heart is, that's Colony 9. This is 30, 30, and then 4 and 4. Okay, well, let's prioritize Wish Upon a Clover. Where are we going for this? We get to talk to Ven. Right. 
Oi, you, little birdie, not me, different wings, told me you collect fortune clovers. You could say that. Why? Who's asking? It's the colony's pilots, especially the fourth squad. They're just so reckless. Just yesterday, someone... <laughs> How many more will we lose before I get a full seven? <sighs> so he's collecting them for the pilots. Are you a collector too? If so, you'll want to go to Lapral Knoll. They're often found around there. Sweet. Ta. Uh, don't we want to let him have them, Uni? A little bit of... A little bit of... Stop with the affinity chart. I'm going to show it off. Zuza. Right. Okay. As they come in, you'll pause for a second and then they'll update. So Zuza is, finds Yuzet. Yes, that is Yuzet. More reliable than uh, Valdi, but that's, you know. So this is the Infinity Chart. There are lots of people everywhere for all the places that we've been and that we've talked to. You can see relationships, how they're interacting. Talk to people, do quests, it'll fill out by itself. Good to add more names. Fixie Fixie? Who is that? That's a Nopon. No, it isn't. We haven't met them, apparently. I see some relations have changed. Lapral Knoll. Oh man, where the heck is Lapral Knoll? Have we been here? Oh, we have. Oh my gosh. Let's just... <laughs> just travel right over. Man. Fantastic. The perks of exploring. You can just go places. I see some relations have changed. We're not focusing on the affinity chart. Oh, this looks like prime fortune clover country. All thanks to Ven, no less. Should we bring him one as thanks? No, they're all for mine. Oh, good shout, love. The more clovers, the more happiness. After I've snaffled just one as commission. Oh, I'll help you find a clover, Uni. Manana also searching. It's only a matter of time. Oh my, I didn't kill this before, so now I have to deal with it. I'm only level 20. I don't want to deal with this right now. I have a plan for them, and it's not, I'm not putting it into action right now. Go away. Ah, oh, unique thing. Can I just pick it up? Do I need, oh my gosh, don't. I can't. Okay, I got one. Fantastic. Oh, I hope we can get this and just end combat. No, we have to get out of combat normally. Go away! Leave me alone, you unruffled Nara. What kind of name is Nara? If any of you out there is named Nara, please explain. What were your parents thinking? Oh, yeah, it's just... just just, just kill me. That's fine. Collection complete. Yep. Time to head back. Oh, really? Is that it? That's fantastic. Where are those question marks? They're on the same level. Oh, they're referring to these. Oh, I know what this one is. Uh, still coming back to that later. We haven't been there yet. Coming back to that later. Charity and hypocrisy. Those are calling me four things. Depending on how long these side quests take, I think I'm going to do the Colony 30 side quests in this episode, the Colony 4 side quests in the next episode. Why do I have... Oh, that's the second one. And then maybe Colony 9 shenanigans in the third one, and then we can continue main story. Hey, Ven, I found the Clovers. Good news. When work's calmed down, I'll go over and look for some. Yeah, actually. Here's one I picked earlier. To thank you for the heads up about the spot. Are you sure you don't mind? Thanks, Uni. That's three, I think. May all the Levenesses from Squad 4 come back unbroken. Eh. Was this... Not for the pilots? What, those Lummoxes? All they're good for is breaking perfectly good Levenesses. Incompetence. Ugh. Uh, uh, right. Got ya. I don't know what we expected. It's Colony 30, after all. Got some good EXP. 
is there anything else? There's a chest uh, down below. Man, so many people. I'm going to do a smash cut of all of the con uh, conversations. And if there are super interesting ones, I uh, super run through quickly editorial like go. Mega friend, truly marvelous friend. Thanks to assistance, Dinky Dink completed day's worth of work in a single hour. With helping hand of Mecha Friend, output of Dinky Dink will be much. Actually, so efficient. Not much left for Dinky Dink to do. Widge Widge. Valdi turned Levness into scrap. Mighty Gastrades was on cusp of finish. Mightiest of output, mightiest of maneuver, all for nothing. How Widge Widge supposed to do while well, idle away hours? Ritz. So the castle took the smashing of the flame clock as an act of defiance. So now we have to look out not only for Agnes troops, but Keves too? That's right. I suppose I'd better be careful when I leave the colony then. I'm not really a match for that level of aggression. Are you, th are you eating three meals a day? You can't fight on an empty stomach, you know. If you're heading out to Ray Bale Tableland, I advise you to set off with a full belly. If the colony meals aren't to your liking, get your friends to rustle up something. <laughs> I don't care as long as you eat. Do not starve yourself. I will die if you die of starvation. Zuza. Head chef. Pulley pulley. Do you make simple machines very easy to use? Kevest troops make use of power frame, much enhancements of bodily strength. Ah, oh, so instead of a system of pulleys, we use power frames. Which is like a fursuit for technophiles. Moral of story is this. Power frame can make stronger or weaker depending on setup. Possibilities are intriguing. Our colony has tons of levenesses. High-end ones at that, but the downside is it can be tough to raise soldiers. However much fighting we do, sometimes we can come back without harvesting any life. But thanks to you, we don't have to worry about all our lifespans quite so much. So thanks for that. Good to add more names. No problem, Michael. That's what we do. Instead of forcing people to kill with giant mecha robot machines with gyro cores. Look at that. Look at that gyro core. We force people to kill the normal way. Quite old-fashioned like that, but we try regardless. Colony 30 soldiers. Oh, one thing that's interesting. You get affinity from uh, talking to the, the, the commissars who run the shops. So you just you just talk to them. Stop stop by when you get a chance, and you get some EXP, even though they're not named characters. So you don't even have to buy anything; just uh, chat them up. Was that everyone? I don't see anyone else. Oh, that's interesting. Um, sure. Let's let's go back to Colony Four. Yeah, it's fine. We got nothing done. We got nothing done in this episode except for one quest that we fast travel to. I'm sure we can fit the Colony 4 quests in. And then we can do the Colony 9 quests the next episode. To Colony 4! What quests do we have right just to have active? Uh, Charity and Hypocrisy, the one I originally wanted to do. And we can turn the... Lay it. Yeah, okay. I'll do those two quests, and then once we can turn them in, then we'll do a little lap around Colony 4 to get any gossip. So we need to go... Uh, da, 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 da. You know, we're not any closer if we went to the hand than right now, so... Let's just go straight over there. But we'll get this ether first. I'll claim the ether here. Not a lot, but anything's better than nothing. Huh. Where did we end up now? Baron Knoll. Our side quest is here. We have to kill some Hoxas? Yep. Hey, look! We've got to save them. They'll die otherwise. Let's pitch in. Kill the giant horned rabbits. Oh, wow. Noah just bisected them. What? You... Conversation can wait. We'll take it from here. Kill the unicorn rabbits. They, they, they've got the tails of, like, rabbits or something. And, like, the horn of a unicorn. And they, like, 
hop like kangaroos. What the hell are these things? Yeah, I'll just let the auto battle handle this. I I really honest honestly, the combat system I think is perfectly fine by itself. Like it's it's uh, it's fairly fun to to play to like do. Oh, Mio got a class. That's great. It's it, the combat's fun to do, but when you've played it for like a hundred hours, the combat gets very repetitive. At least to me, because. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this several times, but it really feels like some of the higher level enemies are just sponges, damage sponges, and it just takes forever to deal with them, especially when you're like matching their levels. Like when you've become so used to fighting hoxes. Oh, even more hoxes. Fantastic. When you've become so used to fighting level 120 enemies, you're like employing these such high level, highly technical strategies for your combat system when you go back and play it again. Because this is this is the second and the first uh, new game, the second time I'm playing it out of two times. So I've only ever like for so many like dozens of hours at this point. Oh, well, let's see how the AI handles chain attacks. Well, at least they're starting with Valdi. That's a good idea. I'll just let you guys handle it. But as I was saying, because this is this is the only the second time of two times that I played through this game, so I'm so used to those high level strategies against enemies that are so high leveled that going back to fighting level 18 enemies at level 20 and then actually struggling in some cases, it's kind of it's it's honestly a little jarring to be like, okay, <laughs> damage sponge enemies at level 18. That's not something I I ever. It's like, I really didn't like that the first go through. I like it even less now. Either way, this battle is, even though we're letting the AI handle it, is definitely already over. This enemy is dead, the chain attack is boring, but I want as much bonus EXP as possible. So, we'll just cut ahead until this battle is done. And this battle is done. We've saved all your unfortunate hides. How is everyone? No injuries? Why did you help us? Do we need a reason? Well, Agnes helping out Keves. Well, it's unheard of, isn't it? Your point? You not get it yet. We do not trust you. Mimi, it's him. Oh, you again. You just don't die, do you? Hmm. We heard you were in close with the commander, but that doesn't mean anyone else in Colony 4 trusts you. We're not trying to win your trust. You just needed help. What did you say? I don't care about the obligations. I just don't want to turn my back on anyone who fights for others. That's why we stepped in. No more reason than that. So you act in accordance with your principles. That's it. Ha! That's the best lie an Agnes lover like you can come up with. Sorry we overstepped our bounds. We'll go. Ugh. Alright, fine. I approve of Ethel's judgment. Huh? I apologize for what I said before. I was just trying to test you. Come on, Maxie. What are you saying? The commander trusted you from the start. We have a duty to abide by her wishes. We heard about the thing with the medical supplies. That was all you. Anyway, we might as well introduce ourselves now. I'm Max Maxie, tactician squad leader. Good lad, Maxie. Er, so what kind of tests were we talking about earlier? We wanted to use this opportunity to make sure of something. Whether we could entrust our mission to, well, what? Captain, you mean your strategy was aimed at them? I was pretty sure you'd pass. Wait, are you serious right now? Them? Jeremy, I'm not saying this makes up for the past, but we can't forget that we're fighting for the living. Achoo. We're in a critical situation right now. 
We need to break it out while we can, and we've got just a plan to do it. I want your help to make it happen. Are you sure about this? I'll be frank. We don't have the firepower. We're busy shoring up colony defenses, so taking out some enemies will help us. But more than that, I thought that proving your sincerity to everyone would be inspiring. I see. There's some days yet before the operation begins, so just think it over for right now. Right. Mm. Another quest complete. Sounds like there's something brewing in the future. I see some relations have changed. We'll have to keep an eye out. I'm pretty sure we have enough time for that final quest. Where is it? Quest menu. Melody of Morning. Right. Hearing about some husks left abandoned by Sing Breeze Funnel, the party sets out and try and seize them off. Where exactly is Spring Breeze Funnel? 500 meters away. Where is it? It is up north a ways. Oh, we never... This is right where we entered. We never went uh, right at this entrance point. We went left. I see some relations have changed. Just a hop, skip, and a jump over to the area. This is a Sweet, let's poke around. Sing Breeze Funnel. We are here, and it looks like, based on those red moats, that there is a lot of husks. No small amount. I wonder what could have caused this. Let's find out. It looks like there's a colony up ahead. This is a brand new area. It is. The Ellis Highway of the Fornus region. It's a very beautiful place. Hmm, no clues right now, but we'll definitely send them off. Noah, would you mind? And with that, I think our job is done. What say you, Noah? Yeah, I think so too. Thank you all for helping me with this. That should bring a little peace to those who fell part way. Yeah, I really hope it does. Well, that was a nice and simple quest. Just got to send them off. And we got 300 affinity points. Oh, those are level 42. We are <laughs> we are not going in that direction. I think uh, we'll go right back to, to Colony 4. And see uh, if there's any last minute discussion topics. What do we got? Show me gossip. Maybach. You gonna help any Mandos? I'm sure that the situation called for it, but right now is a terrible time for the commander to be heading to the castle. Well, I'm sure it'll work out, somehow. Her Majesty is a great and generous ally to us. Best not to think about it too much, yeah? That's the kind of thing Ethel's got in the bag. Good to add more names. Any gossip around here, or last minute quests? Solon, you are nice to us, we'll talk to you. Quite a few of the troops want you to be expelled from the colony. But I don't think they're driven by malice. It's just that fear and confusion has clouded their judgment. You should give them a fair hearing, or see if you can lend a hand somehow. Maybe you'll win their hearts and minds that way. If you give them a reason to fix their misunderstandings, I'm sure they'll make the effort. Thanks, Solon. We'll give that some serious thought. Lots of discussion topics, but I'm not going to waste so much time with talking, he says as he goes straight for gossip and talking. The tactician squad got back from recon. Right then, guess that means it's finally time for you-know-what. Voldemort? The plan. Oh, those things that were brewing. They might be coming to a head soon. I think anything that's in in the Faranus K-1 
can wait. I'm going to have one last discussion with the group about what we've heard. And then I think that'll be able, then, then we'll call it for this episode. So let's discuss the tactician's plan. I think we need to discuss this. I wonder what Maxie's plan is. Whatever it is, he trusts us now, right? Something to celebrate. Yeah, it's good to know we haven't just been yelling into the void. You never want to just yell into the void. You never know what kind of expletives, information, and knowledge that will yell back. That kind of knowledge, it changes people. Rarely for the better. That said, not everyone was happy. That Jeremy lad, he's probably been through a lot. And Maxie said it himself. Not everyone's ready to be bezies with us. Bezies? Uni, speak properly. Jesus, the Queen's English, please. In which case, is it wise to take him at his word? I think we should. Must even. He's worried about Colony 4, naturally. And if we can resolve the misunderstandings about us, as Maxie said... Well said, Mimi. Act first, worry later, yeah? A man of action, lands. Yeah, there's no point in rehashing it. We just need to do what we believe is right. Tactical eradication. It sounds like the plan is coming together and we have our place in it. But we are not going to focus on that plan for the moment because it is the end of the episode. We got a little bit of progress done. We chipped away at some of the side quests in Colony 30 and in Colony 4. So I think it's uh, pretty good. Next time, we're going to focus um, on this quest. I think I think that's a good idea. We can finish finish up the stuff in Colony 4 and then uh, take a trip out to Colony 9 and see what's going on back on the home front. So whether you watched for 30 seconds or the entire thing, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Later!